Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Galen for Syscon TV. We're here at 11th Cloud Expo. You can hear it in the background, Cloud Expo, Silicon Valley. But in the foreground, we have Nick van der Sweep from, I'm going to say it in the Dutch fashion, from Cloud Cruiser. Nick, you're really just Canadian. I am Canadian, but I'm a displaced Canadian living here in Silicon Valley in California. And Where else could one be in the cloud? Uh, it's a, it's a hot spot, definitely. Not quite as uh, frigid as it is back in Winnipeg where I grew up. Lovely place, but it's, the weather here is great. So that's for and sure. I'm guessing that Cloud Cruiser is very happy to be based here too. Cloud Cruiser doing great. Uh, the valley is really hot in the in the cloud space. A lot you see a lot what's going out on the show floor out there. Um, we specialize in cloud cost management, and um, the best way to understand what we do is what uh, think about the problem that we 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 face. Uh, our customers are facing. Our customers, our um, CIOs are losing control or losing visibility to IT because their users, developers are firing off and using capacity from Amazon and Rackspace and others, and they don't even know what's going on. I like that, Lo losing visibility. That, that, that's a real shocker, even more than losing control. It makes you sound like you're some kind of yeah, They don't even know how big IT is anymore because they're only a piece of it. And so that's where Cloud Cruiser comes in is we pull in data and we can show the users or the CIO how much Amazon's being used, or Rackspace, or an OpenStack cloud, and how much is being used by their VMware, or Microsoft, or HP internal environments. We put that all together and we build back users and groups, and the CIO gets visibility, the users get visibility to their costs. Most of them, you know, they're, they're using their corporate credit cards, and then, and I was, one customer I talked to is a million dollars a year going out on their Amex corporate cards through employee expense reports. It's, it's ridiculous. They, they, they have no idea. Well, it's what we hear. It's the classic shadow IT, but I've never heard it actually given a number. Yeah, I've, there's big numbers out there. And um, so what we do is we pull that all together, give visibility, transparency across the organization to the users, the businesses, the CIO, and then we help control it because now when you deploy a service into the private cloud, into the local data center, you'll be billed for it on a weekly, monthly basis. And if you're not using it anymore, you're going to shut it down because you're, you have to pay for it. In the past, you never saw a bill. You de deploy it and you just leave it. So people are actually saving money by getting visibility to their to their costs. So it's ironic, isn't it, that something that initially caught everyone's fancy as a cost saver has actually become a, a, an invisible cost burden. It, it, it is because, you know, it's just so easy to get your credit card out and then it just spirals out of control. But now we can bring it all back together again. And, um, and as well, budgets continuously go in and out. Like people exceed their budgets because they don't know that they, they're spiking. We can, we can track that and let's say a department is on track to go over budget in a quarter. We'll tell them before it happens. So, because we can do predictive analysis on, on cost and cost trends internally, externally. So, it's just all about visibility. And what would I be looking at? Am I looking at a real-time dashboard? Am I getting reports, you know, across the email? Or how does it work? Uh, you get um, each user group business will have their own cloud portal so they can see how much they're personally using or their department. The CIO will see the entire business. Yep. And they can see what their costs are versus what they're charging for their services as well. So, you kind of got to kind of a financial statement. Yeah, p and &L. Yeah, And um, so you can drill in and find your problem. But yes, absolutely, there's alerts that come to you either in email, your pager, um, to your ticketing system. It says, excuse me, Jeremy, but you're going to hit five or six grand this month and you, you might want to stop. <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> That's right. You got three and you're going for five. You need to stop right now. So we'll, we'll alert you to that. So I am suspecting that uh, you're doing okay out there on the show floor this time. Uh, we're getting a pretty good amount of uh, people coming through. A lot of people are out there. The, the, the market's changed. People are implementing. They've, they've got them in you know, private clouds. They're using public clouds, of course, spending millions of dollars on clouds. And they're just trying to 
wrap their arms around it. Just the, there's a there's a desire for visibility. So we're we're popular we're a popular stop on the track. <laughs> popular stop. Well, if you want to popularly stop, go to cloudcruiser.com. I would recommend definitely cloudcruiser.com. You see our value proposition, and we even have a 90-day free trial if you want to uh, get visibility to your costs. Pull it down, and uh, we'll set you up. What's not to like? Thanks so much, Nick Van Der Sweep, for talking with us here at 11th Cloud Expo. And hopefully, see you in New York. Indeed. And same to you out there. Thank you for watching along on the World Wide Web.